did. There's the header and there's the goal. Ball sent in. There's your lead. Yeah. Here's Bright. Got some space and she puts it in the back of the net. Bryant with the left foot knocked down and there's a chip in by the Horn Frogs. Yes, yeah, mean Ryan cuts it inside, goes inside, there's another goal. For the TCU women's soccer program, success is part of the tradition. And in 2019, the tradition lived on. Coach Bell and his staff have continued building the program over the past eight years and have made their fourth NCAA tournament bid after finishing 11-8-3. Tara Smith became the winningest player in TCU history. Emily Alvarado recorded eight shutouts. Yasmeen Ryan made first team all Midwest region. And Messiah Bright made second team all Midwest. It's safe to say for the TCU women's soccer program, hard work pays off. And the hard work continues. The 2019 season kicked off with back-to-back -back road trips. The Frogs earned a 2-0 victory in Birmingham with goals scored by Gracie Bryan, the first of her career, and Tara Smith to take their first victory of the season over the UAB Blazers. Returning home, the Horned Frogs faced the Sam Houston State Cougars, where they won 6-0. Gracie Bryan and Messiah Bright both recorded two goals. Yasmeen Ryan and Maddie Warren both rounded out the six goals with scoring their first individual. Next up, the Frogs headed to SMU, where they earned a 1-0 victory over the number 25 Mustangs to kick off the month of September. Freshman Gracie Bryan scored the winning goal in the 55th minute to secure the Frogs' fourth ever victory against the Mustangs. The Frogs then had back-to-back -back home wins. First up, the Arkansas Little Rock Trojans, where TCU recorded a 4-0 victory. Yasmeen Ryan scored the only goal of the first half, and freshman Grace Collins and Lexi Wallace had their first goals of the season. Next up, the Ohio State Buckeyes arrived in town. TCU got on the board early with three goals in the first 10 minutes. Messiah Bright strikes in the two-minute mark of the game, followed closely by Grace Collins in the five and Gracie Bryan in the eight. To round out the month of September, the Frogs opened conference play with a 2-0 victory against Oklahoma, both goals being scored off of penalty kicks. The Frogs finished up the weekend against number 18 Oklahoma State, finishing in a draw. Yasmeen Ryan scored her fifth goal over the past three games and the 81-minute mark to get the Frogs on the board. During the month of October, the Frogs had big wins. TCU traveled to Ames to face Iowa State. Both goals scored by Gracie Bryan in the second half. They also had a huge victory over number 13 Texas Tech in Lubbock. Messiah Bright got on the board early with a goal in the fifth, and Gracie Bryan scored the winning goal in the 49th. Back at home, the Frogs with an early kickoff against Kansas State at 9 a.m. where they had a dominant 4-0 victory. Messiah Bright tallied two goals. Tatum Condry and Haley Malian scored their first goals of the season. Next up, the final home game of the season, Senior Day against Kansas, where seniors Tara Smith and Taylor Christensen were celebrated. TCU came away with a 2-2 draw. Messiah Bright scored an exciting equalizer with eight seconds left in regulation that fired up the entire crowd. Postseason play opened in Kansas City in early November. First game was a rematch with Texas to open the Big 12 tournament. That game went to an exciting two overtimes and penalty kicks where the Frogs would eventually advance. TCU faces then 13th ranked Texas Tech, the Red Raiders, where they won 2-1 to one to advance to the Big 12 finals against Kansas. Messiah Bright scored both goals in the 11th and 12th minute of the game. The Frogs finished the tournament as Big 12 runner-ups. Back in Fort Worth, the ladies gathered in the locker room to hear the postseason fate. TCU advanced to their fourth straight NCAA tournament, 
traveling to Tucson, Arizona for what would be a rematch with the Arizona Wildcats. The Frogs would battle hard from start to finish, eventually, though, falling 1-0. Looking forward to the 2020 season, TCU will be returning a majority of the 2019 while adding spectacular freshmen. They'll kick off the season in August to continue their quest for a fifth NCAA tournament bid and a championship. We're going to make a 